Welcome to Chapter 18. In 2019, when I was in Mata Hospital after a car ran over my foot, the hospital did blood tests and discovered I have high blood calcium, which causes heart attacks and heart failure. The medics do not want me to know this fact about calcium and heart failure. They give very vague answers about it if questioned. They found the hypercalcemia to come from a condition called hyperparathroidism. In July 2022, and very slowly, they scanned my neck and mapped a parathyroid tumor. Everyone on the PTH forum on Facebook, the NHS website, and the HSE website all say it should be removed or it is very harmful to health. I am a chronic invalid. Getting gradually worse and worse. The medics do not want me to know this is a precancerous tumor with 1% of these adenomas will turn into carcinomas, a name for cancer. This cancer attacks. The only medicine they have for it is in a calcet. Google says this drugs produces lots of fatalities. And 36% of those who have parathyroid cancer are killed by sinicalcet. They said they are expecting me to get osteoporosis, due to elevated calcium, and once there is osteoporosis set in they will resume sinicalcet, which they observed for four months did not do me any good. They have diagnosed diastolic dysfunction in May 2022. One valve is damaged. This is not my mitral valve which is gradually increasing leaking. This is a grim matter that this will also be a secret as to which valve is damaged. They said they cannot find a reason for shortness of breath despite the above findings as they are too mild to cause shortness of breath. In the last year lies have appearing. On my scan reports that I won't cooperate with scans and violently shake my head to resist scans. That sounds like a perfect lunatic and it is also like my dog would behave to avoid the vet. If I go for more tests, they can fabricate more moron type behavior by me and it can be used as circumstantial evidence that I acted as an imbecile over a period of time meaning I am a lifelong proven lunatic. Saying I shook my head all the time to prevent would also cover the medics in case they are correctly anticipating my worsening and death as a result of their neglect and allowing me to have a low quality of life. The internet says which a doctor corroborates with diastolic dysfunction I have 80% chance of being alive in five years time and 2% chance of being alive in 10 years time. Also diastolic dysfunction is irreversible but can be stopped from progressing. And if gone too far can be slowed down. The doctors at Mater shout that it is normal for my age to have diastolic dysfunction so no treatment for you. The last four months my GP has been saying he will refer me to the Mater cardiologist and the private one but he did nothing like that. I went to Beaumont Hospital a few days ago to see a cardiologist after four years. They seemed awfully nice and he and the cardiac nurse said they have tests to determine a second opinion to the cardiac stuff in my report. They took my blood and said they would call me the next day. I think once I left there, intentions changed completely. They won't ever call and will see me after four months. I suppose nothing will happen after four months for an adjournment for another four month and the sweet word normal. Today is the 30th of July 2023. There is blood in my mouth each morning past three weeks like before I was admitted to Tullamore Hospital in 2018. There is also a drop in my hemoglobin count. I have many symptoms and doctors have left me to suffer when I was with the cardiac nurse. In Beaumont, I saw Parkinson's written on the paperwork. My GP who said he was going to make a cardiac referral to Mater for the last several months, 
and the hospital did not give an appointment. He sent this report to Beaumont in December 2022 when I was subject to that fake brain MRI. They has sent my GP a report that I had Parkinson's in the seven months of 2023 up to July. 2023, my GP kept it a secret from me. During that neuro hospitalization, I was told on admission, my gain is Parkinsonian. Then they told me I told have Parkinson's. The neurologist called Jer took a video of my gait. Since then I think I no longer have that type of gait. Naturally I hope I don't have Parkinson's, but unless I had seen it accidentally I was not going to know. The thing is they are also keeping me untreated. I have thing called PVC complexes coming up all the time. The base line of the ECG graph jumps wildly. Since 2021 they have found it half a dozen times, and it looks crazy and it defies common sense. The internet says with normal people who have no heart disease, occasional PVC complexes it's okay. But if you have heart disease and the PVC complexes come a lot, it means you are suddenly going to die. Says I need cardiac help urgently. But no doctors want me to keep the PVC complexes so I die suddenly. The echo done in April 2022 on me was used for teaching. Instead of 20 minutes, they took 90 minutes. The teacher did scans again and again and showed her pupil how to do them until they got very clear images. That's when they discussed a damaged leaflet which was one of three in a valve. I guess concealing a damaged value is a major matter. Naturally if I am a mental incompetent lying is okay. But they echo reports blurry images. Due to non-cooperative patient. I think I have the echo DVD and if the images are crystal clear. That would probably be big time proof the medical professionals lie all the time. Maybe that's why. The neurologist consultant in November and December 2022 asked if I am attached to a social worker. Because I am mentally incompetent needing a psychiatrist for authoring a book about international physics conspiracy. In August 2019 I covertly taped a meta cardiologist while showing him an ECG of myself, dated 2011. It was a heart attack after an overdose which that London hospital pretended was just me play acting. The ECG said things like supraventricular tachycardia, epicardial injury, and he he said it was completely normal. He added these machines are stupid and they lie all the time. Trust me you are normal. Doctors are killing me. I want the world to know that. Doctors are killing me. Right now blood is coming in my mouth. I guess if people read my message, loads of women who are not doctors or nurses will feel an itch in their knickers. That is just a figure of speech. They have been brainwashed that their female genitalia have made them a human relations genius. Their faces light up with pleasure at my extreme illness. They want to join the party. Mostly their contributions are not helpful. I guess I need euthanasia for two independent reasons. To die now and not inch by inch as doctors want for me while the tests come out normal. Till my dying day. To be rid of women who charge like a bull to exercise their right to enjoyment. By joining my party of my dying with buckets of kindness as you become euphoric and salivate. I. Want worldwide publicity. I hope someone can help me as I need a lot of medical help urgently. If I die I think all of you women who become euphoric and want to approach me. Every time you feel an itch in your knickers. Remember me.